Modi 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 I just want to say that um Kashmir is suffering and they're bleeding and everyone should like be aware that's what we're all protesting to bring awareness for Kashmir they they were they're locked down in their houses as if there was a prison they're bleeding they're getting abused it doesn't matter which race you are how old are you you should always stand up for each other free 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 shame on i was in kashmir when um article 300 70 was removed, um, and all the shops were closed. We weren't allowed to go anywhere outside. Yeah. I just want to say something about like calling our families. And like I had my grandma in Kashmir, and we couldn't call them. And a bunch of family, we wanted to make sure if they were okay, but we couldn't contact them. India Hitler. Modi Modi. India Hitler. Modi Modi. India Hitler. Modi Modi. India Hitler. Modi Modi. India. Every single day, the Kashmiri people are in a state of uncertainty about what is going on around them. They don't know if any given day they're going to have access to internet, if they're going to have access to a phone, if they're going to have access to even leave their house to get basic necessities. They're in a state of complete unknown and fear. And it's terrible and it's an injustice. I think the fact of the matter is India has no claim over Kashmir. They never have and they never will. And as long as the Indian people keep fighting, anything that the Indian government tries to do will not be successful. All 1.3 billion people of India do not agree with what is happening in Kashmir, especially with the new resurgence of human rights violations. There are a lot of Indian citizens who are realizing the corruption and the injustices that the Indian government is capable of doing. So hopefully we have their support on our side and we also have each and every single Kashmiri citizen on our side. Modi, Modi. Modi, Modi. Modi, Modi. Modi, Modi. Our loved ones in Kashmir have been held in an open-air prison. Children are disappearing. Women are getting molested and raped. People don't have food. People don't have medicine. And we're here to raise awareness to the people, Americans of good conscience, who care about human rights, who care about democracy, to raise a voice for what's happening in Kashmir, to ask for our help to stand for justice. Modi, Modi. India, Hitler. Modi, Modi. India, Hitler. Modi, Modi. India, Hitler. I, especially as a physician, I'm really concerned about the healthcare crisis in Kashmir. People are not able to seek medical attention. Pregnant women have to walk eight, ten miles uh, to reach a hospital. There is shortage of chemotherapy drugs. There is shortage of essential life-saving medications like insulin. People who need hemodialysis uh, at least three times a, a week in order to get their kidney function improved. They're suffering. If they don't get hemodialysis, they can die from lack of it. And children are suffering. They're suffocated inside the house. This is ha having a really detrimental effect on the psyche of Kashmiri people. We're seeing more and more depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety in people. We want this lockdown to stop now. and. We want all these atrocities to end. Enough is enough. Kashmiri people had enough of it. This is extreme brutality in the 21st century, and the world should not just sit back and uh, watch it. What do we want? When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Human rights! When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Human rights! When do we want them? Now! I just lost my dad on the 31st, not too long ago. and. Um, there would have been no way of me finding out if it had happened like three days after or four days after. I worry that something will happen to my mom and there's no way of communicating or finding out. So uh, it's a complete unfathomable situation in 2019 where, where uh, the world's supposedly biggest democracy can do this to what it claims is its own people. And you know, and we've coexisted and lived in Kashmir forever. It was the epitome of tolerance of Hindus and Muslims and, and Christians and Buddhists and Sikhs living together in harmony for centuries. My appeal is uh, to my brothers in India who feel that they need to stand up and protect minorities and speak for minorities. Kashmir, our Kashmir, our there's a bunch of human rights violations. Nobody's able to 
uh, talk to anybody, internet's down, everything, so they're a complete communication blackout. So we want freedom in Kashmir, and we want the killings to stop, the blinding of the children with the pellets to stop. We want them to be free. Free, free! 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 Well, there's, uh, it's been almost 30 days and there are people who are caged in their homes. Kids cannot leave. Uh, there's barbed wires there. And uh, there's a lot of kids that are being kidnapped by Modi's government. Uh, these people come at night and they take the kids uh, away and parents have no clue where the kids have been taken. As young as 14-year-old boys have been taken. And we hear stories about women being raped uh, in Kashmir, but there's no way to verify it because there's a clampdown on all kinds of news that could come out of that place. My mom, mother is in Kashmir. I have not been able to talk to her. It's been almost a month now. I want to tell people is what people don't understand is Modi's background. Modi is an RSS uh, lifelong member. And what RSS is, it's like a neo-Nazi group of India that hates Muslims and hates minorities and they want a, a Hindu rule. And I don't have any problem with that, and I think that's okay. But they need to let people know that we want Hindu rule, so people who are not Hindus can uh, decide whether they want to live in that country or not. Stop the terror! Stop the hate! Stop the terror! Stop the terror! Free, free! Uh, revoking of the Article 370 by Modi. There's a lot of curfews, there are hunt and kill operations by the Indian military, there are kidnapping of children, there are kidnapping of regular citizens, disappearances of citizens, there are human rights violations all around, there are people who are stuck in their homes who can't access medication, who can't access food. So it's just a horrible situation that every human being who cares about human rights should be involved in. The worst part is that these people, these innocent people that are locked down in their houses, they have not done anything. They're very innocent. They have, they lead normal lives just like you and I, and uh, they have to go through this. You know, it's very painful. It's very hurtful, and the world needs to wake up. The Indian so-called democracy, it doesn't reflect because the people are not given chance to speak. All the leaders are locked up. <laughs> You know, I have family in Kashmir. My sister is a gynecologist. She attends to patients. I have no knowledge of how she operates on people. The babies are going to be born. Uh, my brother-in-law is on dialysis and he needs medicine. We have no idea if he's getting medicine. So there's absolute lack of communication. Thirty years ago, Kashmiris in Los Angeles put together some money and made these t-shirts a banner really fighting India's occupation of Kashmir and torture of Kashmiris and made this free t-shirt Kashmir 30 years ago, 1990. Today, almost 2020 now, right? 30 years later, the t-shirt, he pulled it out, it's still relevant. Anybody can look at the ideology of Prime Minister Modi and know that his plan is to enact some sort of ethnic cleansing, that he doesn't believe India is a democracy, that he doesn't believe minorities are welcome in India, and so he's geared to make Kashmir a bloodbath, and we have to be here, we have to stop it. Azadi!